In this lesson, we will graph horizontal and vertical lines. In the previous lesson, we talked about how to uh, graph a line by plotting points. Um, so these are the steps which we covered in the previous lesson. Let's graph the equation y equals 4 by plotting three points. Now notice that in the equation y equals to 4, the variable x doesn't exist. What it means is that this line y equals 4, its value is unaffected by the x. So we could pick the x's to be whatever we want it to be to keep things simple. Let's pick negative 1, 0, and 1. But y will always be 4 regardless of what x is. This is a constant function. y will always be 4 regardless of what x is. So when x is negative 1, the value of y is 4. When x is 0, the value of y is 4. When x is 1, the value of y is 4. So in the order pair, we will have negative 1, 4, 0, 4, and 1, 4. Now, if we had picked 3, 5, and 7, same thing. The, the value of y will always be constant at y equals to 4. So if we plot these points, we have negative 1, 4, we have 0, 4, and we have 1, 4. What we get is a horizontal line. Now notice that this, uh, this line, no matter which point we pick on the line, like let's say we pick this point, this is the point 5, 4. If we pick a point on this side, let's say we pick this point, this is the point negative 3, 4. This line is a collection of all, all the points that have a y value of positive 4. The x values change, but the y values will stay constant at 4. Let's do another example. Let's graph uh, x equals negative 3 by plotting three points. Now, since x equals to negative 3, we have no choice but to leave our x values as negative 3. So our x values will always be negative 3. Now, the, the y can be whatever we want it to be. So we can pick negative 1, 0, and positive 1. Because in this case, our equation states that x always has to equal to negative 3. So our first point will be negative 3, comma, negative 1. Our second point is negative 3, 0. And our third point is negative 3, 1. So what we get is we get a vertical line. And this vertical line is a collection of all the points that have an x value of negative 3. So no matter what point you pick, like let's say we pick this point, it has an x coordinate of negative 3. Let's say we pick this point. This is the point negative 3, negative 5. The y value will change, but the x value will always be constant at negative 3.